Hey everybody, it's me, Bryson Booker, and we are almost at the end of 2017 here, and I'm going to do something I normally do around this time before the year ends, and that's showing you my 2017 VHS collection. So I'm going to start with my clamshells, that will be part one, and then part two will cover the rest of these uh, slide-covered VHS tapes. So, um, what I did here, uh, specifically this year, is I kind of organized all of the movie b movies by studio. So we got Walt Disney Studios, Columbia Pictures, this is just a music video. And then over here, we got Nickelodeon slash Paramount, Fox, Jim Henson, DreamWorks, and then the rest are organized by studio, which I'll show you later. But... To start out, my first clamshell from the Disney section is Doug's first movie. Uh, this was released in 1999. It was released in theaters by Disney Pictures, as well as on video. Um, and, by the way, I'll tell you which movies I actually reviewed, so you can check them out. I did review Doug's first movie. It's a decent movie. <laughs> I don't really think Doug needed a movie, but... Um, it's a, it's a decent film. It's not the greatest. It was kind of rushed. It was kind of done for just promotional purposes. But it's decent. So that's Doug's first movie. It also comes with a bonus Doug-umentary at the end of the film that just shows you how the characters developed and how kind of how the show was created. Next we have Toy Story 2. Disney Pixar's Toy Story 2. I do have Toy Story, but it's not with me. It's at my grandma's house. Um... This was released, I believe, in 2000, so this is a 2000 VHS tape. Uh, we have special features. Uh, you get some hilarious outtakes. By hilarious outtakes, they're talking about the credits at the end of the film, <laughs> where all that stuff happens. You get the Luke So Jr. short from Pixar from 1988, and then you have a, um, you have a music video at the end of the film, uh, Woody's Roundup, you get that music video. So that's that one. Next we have Walt Disney's Dinosaurs. This was released in, I believe the movie was made in 2000, but the VHS release came out in 2001. Good film, kind of one of Disney's lesser known films. I don't know, I, I haven't seen it in a long time. I think I may watch it again. But, um, again, when you think of Disney, you don't really think of dinosaurs, but it was a pretty decent movie that they made uh, when they really took advantage of CGI and what it could do at the time. And speaking of what Disney could do at the time, let's take a look at Fantasia 2000. This is the second Fantasia. Obviously, the first one was made in 1948. Um, I have seen the first one, and I've seen the first one on video many times at the thrift store, but I just still haven't pick it, pick, uh, picked it up yet. Um, but this is a pretty good incarnation. Um, again, basically it's Fantasia for kind of the next generation. It was originally made in 1999, but really didn't appear to everybody in the United States and the world until 2000. Um, but if you've seen Fantasia, you know what it is. It's a blend of art and music. And that's basically what this movie is. But you have new stories. And I think they reuse one or two shorts from the original Fantasia. I know the Mickey short, the Sorcerer Mickey short is reused in this Fantasia. But again, pretty decent movie. Oh, by the way, I did a review on Fantasia 2000. As well as a goofy movie. Which is next. An extremely goofy movie. I have seen the original Goofy movie, but I don't have it on video yet. This was the direct to re direct released uh, Goofy movie. They just released this movie on video. At the end of it, you have a kid's goofiest joke segments, which the jokes are not that funny. I'm just giving you a heads up right now. <laughs> if you ever get this VHS, the jokes at the end aren't that funny. Just let you know. Now we're going into the Columbia Pictures Clamshell Collection. So we have Madeline. This was the Columbia TriStar Family Classics Collection. 
Mad Line was a film released by Columbia in, I believe, 1998. So this is a TriStar video. Haven't watched this one in a while, but last time I seen it, it was a pretty good movie. It was a pretty engaging movie. Obviously based on, uh, I think, the British franchise, Mad Line. I think Mad Line had a TV show. She had some books. Um, and this was the live-action movie. And, and I think it was a book, too. I think Mad Line was a book. Um, I remember Madeline from Playhouse Disney. I think everybody who knows who Madeline is probably remembers that show from Playhouse Disney. But that's where I remember Madeline from. Um, it's a pretty good movie. Again, not that bad. I don't think I reviewed that one. But these two, these next two I did review, I have both Stuart Littles. So I have Stuart Little 2 and Stuart Little 1. Um... I, I gotta say, if I had to choose which one I like more, uh, I honestly think it's, it's Stuart Little. Stuart Little, the first one, uh, for what it did at that time in 1999, and what this one was doing in 2002, um, I think the second one they just added more characters. I definitely think the story was kind of, uh, what they wanted to go for was best represented in the first one here. Uh, so I have both Stuart Littles. They actually made three of them. The third one was a direct-to-video animated movie. Uh, but I don't have that one. And I'm probably not going to get it. Because I really just like the first two. And then for this section, the last clamshell I have here is... Elvis Aloha from Hawaii. This is a music video concert. Uh, this was the 1972 Elvis concert special. Uh, that aired during the Super Bowl in 1972, or while the Super Bowl was going on, uh, via sal satellite. Um, this is a great, great concert. It definitely shows Elvis at his best. Uh, you got some songs, C.C. Ryder, uh, Blue Suede Shoes, Can't Stop Loving You, all performed live with, a, with Elvis's original band in 1972. It's a great, great concert. I always go back to it every so often so now we're on the right side so now we got our Nickelodeon stuff we have Rugrat, the Rugrats movie released by Nickelodeon and you also get a bonus cat dog short I failed to mention I did do a review on Stuart Little I believe I did a review on Stuart Little too I can't remember I also did a review on the Elvis concert video as well as this video the Rugrats movie is obviously a classic. It was a box office success, and it's just a great movie overall. Really, guys, I'm not really big into Nicktoons, but um, Rugrats <laughs> is definitely charming. I, I love the characters, love the settings, love the adventures they get into. Um, and obviously this movie introduced um, Tommy's baby brother Dill into the Pickle family. And so, it's a great, great movie. Classic movie. This is also a classic. We have Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius, also from Nickelodeon. Again, <laughs> what this movie did um, at the time was kind of revolutionary. And uh, great comedy, great action, great characters. Obviously, this kick-started the series, Jimmy Neutron, Boy... The Adventures of Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius. Before that series was this movie. And so, definitely a great, great movie that I love coming back to every so often. It's just great. I always get a good laugh from it. Uh, the next movie was Nickelodeon's first movie that was ever released by Nickelodeon. Uh, this is Harriet the Spy. And so, um, this is Nickelodeon's first film. First movie that they released in 1996. Stars Rosie O'Donnell and I believe ch -ch -ch Michelle Trechenberg, who I think did some other Nickelodeon stuff. But the main person they highlight here in this movie is Rosie O'Donnell. Uh, it also includes two Rugrats music videos uh, Rugrats Rap and Rugrats Rock. This is a pretty decent film from Nick. Um, uh, I really think this, uh, it's, um, you know, uh, a decent movie. It's, it's, it's a pretty good movie. I like it. Can't say much about it. 
but I know I did a review on it, as well as the Rugrats movie. I didn't do a review on Jimmy Neutron yet. Next, we have Rugrats in Paris. Did a review on this. Obviously, the second Rugrats movie released in theaters in 2000. Basically, uh, the Rugrats go on an adventure in Paris. Just think of the first movie, just even bigger. It's just, it's, that's basically what this is. And honestly, I think they did a better job with the first movie than the second movie. But anyway, uh, Rugrats in Paris is a great movie. At the end of it, you get a music video from the Baja Men, uh, Who Let the Dogs Out. Honestly, we know that song. <laughs> I got one Warner Brothers clamshell, and it's Space Jam. Definitely one of my all-time favorite movies right here with Michael Jordan and Bugs Bunny and the rest of the Looney Tunes gang. Space Jam, uh, released in 1996, but this tape was released in 97. I mean... Come on, what can I say about Space Jam? It's it's a classic. Definitely to be remembered. Um, great movie. Uh, this is one of my Christmas movies. I don't have too many Christmas movies in my collection. But this is one of my favorites, definitely. Arnold Schwarzenegger and Jingle All the Way from 1995. I think the tape was released in 96. It also stars Sinbad. Obviously, this guy is trying his hardest and literally loses his life just to get his son the Turbo Man doll. It is an awesome, awesome movie. Great action, great comedy. Just a well-done Christmas movie. And speaking of another well-done Christmas movie, that's what's next here. We have The Muppets Christmas Carol, uh, released by Walt Disney Pictures and... Um, Jim Henson Home Entertainment. This is just a great twist on the classic Charles Dickens story. And I mean a great twist meaning that the, when the Muppets did it, they literally put their foot in it. And they did it really well. So I love coming back to this every year. Great incarnation of the Christmas Carol story. Filled with singing and laughter and fun and just general general. Muppet Muppetry, <laughs> I guess you could call it. It's a great, great incarnation. I would encourage everybody who likes the Muppets to check that out. Now we're getting into the DreamWorks section. Uh, we have Ants with the Z and Z. I did review Ants as well as Space Jam. I did not do a review on Jingle All the Way or Muppets Christmas Carol yet. Um, but Ants. The funny thing is, it was made during a time when Disney was releasing A Bug's Life, and it literally beat A Bug's Life <laughs> in terms of being released. Ants was released before A Bug's Life in 1998, so I guess one could consider this to be DreamWorks' first um, CGI film that was successful. I have another one here that wasn't that successful, but Ants... Um, Again, was their first successful CGI film. Did a pretty good job. Pretty good movie as well. Another DreamWorks gem that was around when the company first began making movies was The Prince of Egypt. This is a great, great movie uh, based on the Exodus story uh, from the Book of Exodus, or the Deliverance story blech, from the Book of Exodus talking about Moses and how he delivered the children of Israel from the hands of Pharaoh, basically in a great uh, animated movie. This is a great movie. Um, definitely had a cult following. You know, there, there hasn't really been anything like the Prince of Egypt made uh, in a while, and I don't think there ever will be. <laughs> great blend of CGI and traditional animation. Also has a great soundtrack. Um, and DreamWorks made a follow-up to it called... Uh, Joseph King of Dreams. I was going to get that one at the thrift store, uh, but I didn't. I picked up something else. Uh, but again, great movie right there. I did review Prince of Egypt. And then the last one for my clamshells, and then I'm going to do a part two. So this last one I have up here is Small Soldiers, released by DreamWorks in 1998, the same year as Ants. Uh, but I think it was released before Ants. Uh, this was the DreamWorks film I was talking about 
that they made in CGI, but it wasn't really that good. <laughs> um, <clears throat> it, it's okay. I, I have to rewatch it. I haven't rewatched it in a while, but um, it's an okay movie. It's not the greatest movie. Obviously, it's Toy Story military style. That's the best way I can put it. <laughs> That's really what it is. You like G.I. Joe? That's basically it. G.I. Joe and his band of misfit, soldier-driven toy friends try to save the world. Um, that's really it. I, I say this every time. The only good thing that this movie had going for it was the Rodeo Burger <laughs> from Burger King. They, there was a couple of promotions back in 1998 with uh, Small Soldiers characters promoting the Burger King Rodeo Burger. And that's really the only thing that this movie had going for it. Uh, because it was just a decent movie overall. So that's all of my clamshells, and we're going to come back with a part two, and then I'll get the rest of my VHS tapes.